this area here is what we're just getting off of with the cows. The chickens are still probably about four days behind the cows. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit before the chickens come over here. I wanted to share the grass as of right now. You'll see that some of it's long, some of it's very short. But we used to think that once all the grass was gone, that's when it was time to switch paddocks or move them to a different area. Now, hey Mash, hey baby. She's a good girl. He's a good girl. Now, we follow a different ideology, which we learned from Greg Judy. You can find him on YouTube. He says to leave 30% up. Oh, you see some grass raised up. 30% trampled and 30% eaten. The reason for this is when the grass is up, it creates a windbreak and you are going to, you can actually lose water retention from wind and that dries out your soil, leaving you with hard, compacted soil. When you are trying to grow grass, field, pasture, whatever, for whatever reason, it's very important when there are circumstances that are out of your control that you are able to be flexible and adapt to. If you don't have rain and your soil or grass is not getting water, that's when water retention becomes very important. Of course, we get a lot of rain here, but if you are grazing animals and you are out of grass and you go through a month without any decent rainfall, you're going to be more dependent on how much water you retain in your soil. So if you have good, healthy soil, when it rains, you are actually gonna be holding that water. Your soil is going to retain it and can use it for an extended period of time. When your soil is not healthy when it rains, what's actually happening is all the minerals, all the good stuff in your soil is going to run off somewhere else. It could be the sewage drain, it could be your neighbor's property, whatever. The point is, is it's not where it needs to be for you to grow grass. So that's where water retention becomes very important. So I cannot control whether or not it rains. I can help build healthy soil that retains the water when it does. Not everyone may have access to an irrigation system or have multiple water access points on their property. Or if you have compacted clay soil like I do, you're not gonna wanna constantly water it because like I said, it's just going to run off. If you wanna help improve your soil, knowing methods to retain water is going to be very helpful. And the three things I explained before, leaving windbreaks in your grass, having grass trampled over, and even adding a layer of sawdust and covering bare pieces of dirt is dramatically going to improve your water retention.